Question, have you ever wondered why on some days the fish bite is hot? I mean the fish are actively feeding, you're having a great time catching a lot of fish, and then all of a sudden the bite just completely shuts down. Well stick around because I'm going to tell you why and what to do when this happens. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how the weather can affect your fishing. We're going to cover things like barometric pressure and how it can determine a certain period of time when the fish will be actively feeding or not. How approaching storms and incoming cold fronts can have an effect on the fish feeding behavior. Being able to understand how weather can impact your fishing day can make a big difference in whether or not you fill up your cooler with a lot of fish. So before we dive in, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to say welcome and thanks for stopping by. I hope you find value in this channel and helping you improve your fishing knowledge. Make sure you click on that subscribe button below and be sure to click that bell and turn on your notifications so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. All right, so in order for us to understand how changes in the weather can affect fish feeding behavior, we must first understand some anatomy of the fish. Now there are three organs that are mainly affected by changes in weather patterns on a fish. Number one, you have your lateral line. Now it's the organ that runs horizontally along the length of the body of the fish to the tail. And it can detect movement, vibration, and pressure changes in the weather. Number two, you have your air bladder. It's the organ that helps the fish maintain their buoyancy in the water column. And number three, you have their stomach, which can be affected by the air bladder. So what is barometric pressure? Well, in a nutshell, it's the weight or mass of an entire air column that's pressing down on Earth. It's also known as air pressure or atmospheric pressure. Low barometric pressure means that the column of air is rising. This means that pressure is now being decreased, as where high barometric pressure means that the column of air is sinking. This means that pressure is now being increased. So how does barometric pressure affect fishing? Now we can answer that question. So here, I've drawn up two diagrams to give you a visual look of the different physiological effects that a low pressure and high pressure weather system has on fish anatomy. Let's look at diagram number one. Usually ahead of a cold front, you have a low pressure system moving in. And fish can detect that the pressure is about to drop by way of their lateral line. Once the pressure drops, they become less comfortable and less prone to eat because of the buoyancy issues and the internal physiological effects on their stomachs from an enlarged air bladder pressing in on it due to the low pressure system. And it's also during this period of time, fish will tend to burn more calories because they're having to use their fins and tail a lot more to swim around because they're having trouble maintaining buoyancy in the water column. Now usually to offset these issues, a fish will swim to deeper depths in the water column to where there is a greater pressure that will help them achieve buoyancy once again, or they'll just sit tight and ride out the low pressure system until it's over. So during this time, guys, would be a bad time to fish because fish are more worried about uh, trying to maintain buoyancy and they got that pressure on their stomach so they're less likely to feed. Now let's look at diagram number two. So once the cold front passes through and high pressure begins to move back in, the fish still may not feed for the next 24 hours because their body is still trying to adjust to the pressure changes. Once the fish has had enough time to adjust to the high pressure, the air bladder now becomes stabilized under this high pressure and returns back to its normal size. Now, the fish's stomach will also return back to its normal size because it's no longer being compressed anymore. Because the fish have burned a lot of calories earlier during that low pressure period, you know, struggling with the buoyancy issues, the fish will now be extremely hungry and actively feeding once again. Usually the third day after a high pressure rising, the fish bite may be really turned up. So a good time to fish will be the next two to three days after a cold front has passed through because the fish will feed more actively when there is a more stable high pressure system. Bait fish are also affected by barometric pressure. When the pressure falls, these bait fish will hold in deeper water and become less active. Here's a tip guys. I want you to keep this in mind next time there's a low pressure system. So during a low pressure period when the fish are running to deeper waters, this is when you should be thinking about maybe throwing some deep diving plugs or lures that can get down to those deeper depths in the water column to where the fish may be at. You might hook into a big one. So to recap guys, generally anytime you have an approaching cold front or a storm approaching, you have a drop in barometric pressure. 
and when that cold front moves out and the storm passes, you have an increase in barometric pressure, which means brighter fishing days and calmer waters. I hope this tutorial was very helpful in giving you some better insight on how weather affects fish feeding behavior. If you liked this video, be sure to click that like button, make sure to click that subscribe button below, and be sure to click that bell and turn on your notifications so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. Thanks for subscribing, much love, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.